ready? Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, so I am back with my part two. Just, you know, for people who want to kind of see the behind the scene, I did do some behind the scene shooting for you guys. So um, where we start off here is basically this is the first time that I'm going to the back of the warehouse because when looking for a manufacturer, you want to find somebody that can kind of do it all. So the manufacturer I'm with, they also, um, they not only have like the chemist, the whole science and laboratory department where they do all the breakdowns and the mixing of the different products. But then once everything is filled, then at that point, you'll also want them to have like an in-house distribution center. So this was me doing the walk around uh, with one of the ladies there at the distribution center so I could meet the head manager that would be in charge of my palette, my bottles and everything else because you have to supply your own bottles. And I wanted my bottles to be very high end and, and unique and, you know, stand out. I believe packaging is everything. And, you know, when you're packaging and you're figuring out tops and, you know, labels and stuff like that, you want stuff that's going to appeal to the eye. It may cost more, but to me, it's worth it. I didn't want to just put stuff in like a plastic tub and then just sell it for whatever. Like I wanted, to, I wanted it to be an experience. I wanted it to, when people open it, they're like, "Oh my gosh, this looks good." She really put a lot into this. So, um, so this day when I was going to go meet the head um, guy in charge of the shipping department, we had to go and go through all of my bottles, all of my tops. And a lot of times when you get bottles and containers, it's separate. So you might have a box with like 500 bases and then you might have like a box of 500 pumps 500 tops so literally we came in with so many boxes me and the boys um we had to end up getting a u-haul because my house had become like a storage unit for boxes everything is empty i finally have my den back it doesn't look like a straight up warehouse and i gotta clean up everything but yes we're officially going into production you guys Back. I think we'll end up just, uh, well, it's the stack in here, and then we'll have to separate it out. Okay. Thing done. Everything is so official. Like you're an entrepreneur, I'm so excited for everything to come together. So we ended up getting a U-Haul truck and then my son and his friends, they helped me bring everything to the distribution center. And so then at that point, I had to come the next day and do all the counting and go through the inventory and made sure that everything matched and then tell them like, you know, what products will be filled into which bottles and, you know, what the ounces are and things like that. So that was about maybe like a three hour task, but it was so wonderful just meeting everybody there, the staff and, you know, they were just like really shocked to see me like, who is this, you know, this young black woman in here, you know, and I just had my, my little corner corner and I mean they fill and do stuff for like major corporations so this was such a blessing that they were willing to take a risk on me that they were willing to you know they they believed in my product I had a meeting with the head guy he's just wonderful and you know I came with my vision board and told him you know I can't afford to you know fill 10,000 bottles per skew right now because I'm not Target I'm not Walmart I'm a mom and pop shop you know I'm, I'm a this is my single operation and and he just loved my entrepreneurial spirit. And usually they don't work with anything under 2,000 pieces per SKU. And he was able to give me a good deal and work way below the minimum for me. So that was such a blessing just to see that, you know, so many people believed in me and what I was trying to do and that they were willing to help me out. And they treated me with so much love, so much care, so much respect. They didn't treat me like, oh, well, you know, she's not Target or she's not, you know, Alta Beauty or she's not, you know, such and such 
she's just a small mom and pop business. So we'll just, you know, throw her stuff over there and, you know, let her figure it out. Like, no, they were very hands on, very caring, you know, super excited. They love the names of the products. It's like I had the whole staff laughing like, what? That is so cool. That is so dope. So, you know, it was just like a really good experience. So one thing I will say to anybody who wants to get into trying to make their own products and makeup cosmetics, the key is to find a good manufacturer, somebody who cares, who understands, who's willing to work with small businesses, you know, and they understand that the money will be worth it in the return investment, not so much in the beginning, you know, so you have to find somebody who's willing to like work with you and invest in you. And it's about how you carry yourself. You have to believe in yourself. You have to know what you're talking about. Nobody's trying to hear that mush mouth shit. Okay. At the end of the day, they want to know, you know what I'm saying? Do you have a product? Will it sell? You know, how much do you believe in your product? How much research have you done in your product? And I had all my paperwork. I had all my T's, all my I's, cross, dotted. And he knew that this wasn't my first go around. He's seen how successful I was able to make my T-line on Amazon. So he was like, okay, you know, I'm willing to work with your company. Let's see what we can do for you. And, you know, it took a long time. It took months because everything's made from scratch. These are ingredients that I use, that I believe in, because you guys and I have been making my own products for like over 10 plus years. You know, when I came on YouTube, I was teaching people how to make whipped body butters and things like that. So it's T Fizzle, and I'm here to show you guys my big oil staple. <laughs> um, like I said before, I love my oils. I think that's one of the main things that help my hair grow healthy and strong. This is my huge basket of essential oils. I'm a product junkie, but these are products that I believe are well worth it because I interchange them. I use them in my hair and on my skin. So um, I just wanted to introduce you to a few oils. I'm not going to go through all of them. This right here is my sweet almond oil. This is good. This is also a moisturizing oil. Um, it's very, very good. It blends in, uh, it penetrates your scalp actually very very well so that's a really good oil to use um let's see here i have hemp seed oil this is rich in vitamins e and k so i love my hemp seed oil so to go from, you know, when I used to make products in my kitchen for just me and my family and I would, you know, put them in little plastic tubs and some of my subscribers would buy them for me to actually having my products manufactured in a legitimate place from scratch with my own ingredients that have been a part of me for years. It was just amazing. You know, it was just really amazing. They listened to me. You know, what I'm saying they understood what I wanted. And then my CBD oil manufacturer, they were just wonderful, you know, getting to know those guys and you know it's a whole family business for them and they've been in the game a long time and for them to take a chance on me you know this small startup was just amazing because again a lot of these companies it's the good old boys club and if you're not you know like one of the big cbd brands out there they're not trying to look at you twice so like you literally have to know somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody to even get in and get you know those specific oils and my thing is i didn't want my oil just coming from joe blow you know, I'm all about safety because for me with the chronic illness, I can't risk stuff. You know, I can't risk putting something into my body that's going to get me sick. You know what I'm saying? So I would not have that for my subscribers or anybody who buys my stuff. So that was my main thing when I was interviewing people, you know, to try and get my oil supply. It's like, well, where is your oil coming from? And some people are like, oh, well, we grow it here. Okay, well, is it tested? Is it certified? And most people's oils are not certified. You know, they do run testing, but they're not certified. So for me, I just didn't want to chance it. I would rather pay a higher quality for a higher oil that I know is not only tested, but U.S. Hemp Authority certified. And to get oil from those Hemp Authority certified companies, it's very hard to get in. Like I said, you have to know somebody who knows somebody. So I was able to get in and get in with the owner and you know that the head guys in charge and they love me and you know now they're tea sippers so like when I tell you it's it's so many people that just really helped bring this together so many people and I couldn't have done this by myself I couldn't have done this without the encouragement of just different people even when I would get frustrated like oh my gosh is this ever gonna happen I feel like I'm chasing a fairy tale right now and it's like no it's gonna happen things take time you know we have to get the certain oil you know your place number 1050 I mean it's like everything is timing and when you're talking about you know 
companies dealing with million dollar corporations and you're just a you know a young black woman you know a small mom and pop shop you're not necessarily priority list when you have somebody who can give them 50 million right there and then for their oil those big checks are coming first you know what i'm saying so it's like it was a waiting game for the oil waiting game for my spot to get stuff filled but you know patience is a virtue and everything eventually came together so i'm just really happy that everything you know worked out and so now we will be launching. Everything will be available in two days. And I'm going to go ahead and let the rest of the video play. And you guys will just see um, clips of me doing the testing process. The testing process was very, very interesting. It was about a three-day process because my stuff is in bundles. So I have the shampoo and conditioner. I have the face wash and the face cream. And then I have the body butter and the pain cream. So it took us three days to do the testing days. Um, so we did the shampoo and conditioner first where I came. In, I checked the consistency, checked the smell, made sure it's how I wanted it because you want to make sure um, that everything is how you want it because once they fill it, it's a wrap. They're not changing anything. So the testing and the sample day is one of the most important days. So if there's anything you want to change, if it's too thin, too runny, not thick enough, you need to let them know right there and then. You know, and so, so for me, the shampoo and the conditioner, they were basically A1. I loved it, no issues, but I'm very particular about smell smells. And one thing with hemp, it has a very strong smell. And I'm not a weed smoker. Everybody knows this. I have nothing against people who smoke weed, nothing with, wrong with edibles and, you know, whatever you choose to do. I just don't like the smell of weed. And hemp has a very, very distinctive, strong smell. So for me, I don't want products that smell like weed. I don't want to feel like I'm putting, you know, weed scented products on my face and on my body. You know, I want it to smell good. But then because I know I have men who also love my products. You know, a lot of guys bought a lot of my products at the um, launch. So I had to make it where it's a nice neutral smell, you know, so it couldn't be too feminine and florally and, you know, fruity, but then it couldn't be too masculine. So that was where we really had to like come up with like a nice neutral smell that is cool enough for women and cool enough for men. It's not too, you know, feminine and it's not too masculine. So that's what took us a while longer to figure out a good fragrance for like the body butter um the pain cream i wanted it to be more like a essential oil type smell i wanted to feel like when you turn on a diffuser and you use you know peppermint and you know things like that so you have that menthol smell but i didn't want the menthol to be so overpowering so i wanted to kind of neutralize it but then also get a good fragrance that would blend with the hemp honey it's a science to this okay between mixing the fragrances and you know just coming up with like you know how much cbd will be absorbed into the skin like i've literally turned into a bootleg chemist over the past nine months I've learned so much so again it's all about researching and really knowing your product knowing that okay if you're saying that something has 150 milligrams how much of that would be absorbed into the skin you know versus somebody who's selling the same product but they only have 20 milligrams in their product so if they only had 20 milligrams you're literally not getting anything absorbing into your skin so it was a lot of chemistry that went into this it was a lot of breakdowns a lot of you know mathematical stuff crunching things on the you know calculator and and sitting with chemists and talking to them and getting breakdowns and chemical compositions honey I felt like I was back in school okay the notes I have taken and the things I have learned about this business no joke but it all paid off in the end and I would not trade the people I've met over the past few months the knowledge I've gained the respect I've gained for the industry I'm just really excited to share this with you guys and I hope you guys learned something from this video from this voiceover you know, if you have a business and you want to start something, don't look for other people's opinions. Don't, you know, block out the negativity, block out the naysayers. Don't worry about, oh, the market is oversaturated or everybody has a CBD line. Everybody, their mama can have whatever. But there's only one lovely tea and there's only one dope beauty, okay? You can't worry about what everybody else is doing. Act like a racehorse, put on your blinders, and head for that finish line. So I hope that this video inspires you to be great. You know what I'm saying? To follow your entrepreneurial spirit and always believe in yourself and keep pushing forward. So I'll talk to y'all later. Deuces. Hi, so I'm at my manufacturer's place. So today is testing day. I'm super happy. So we got four of the six products. I tested three of them and I really like them. 
but I want to work on the smell of another product. So we're gonna kind of tweak the smell. So he went to go get some um, fragrance and things like that. So I just want this product to be perfect when you guys get it, but I love it. It's making my skin glow and look good and I cannot wait to share it with you guys. But yeah, I'm super excited. So we should start filling within the next few days once um, the fragrance for the particular product. Once I approve that, then we'll begin filling. So today is the big day. So this is the final step. It's been a long nine months. So all of these are infused with my CBD oil. So I'm gonna go ahead and test these. And if all these are up to par, how I want them, then we start filling tomorrow. So I'm super excited, yay. So soon you guys will be able to have my shampoo, conditioner, pain cream, face cream, everything made from scratch with my own ingredients. All right, so we're here, it's sample day. And so this is the conditioner sample here. We poured some into a beaker, just so I can test the, condi the, the consistency, the thickness. Um, I've been using it for months now, so I can't wait to share that with you guys. And this is the moisturizing shampoo that I created. So you guys are just, I'm just really excited for everybody to try my products, man. I've been working hard on this and it just feels so good that, you know what I mean? Like we're literally a few days away from everything being mass produced. So I'm super, super excited. So yeah, this has been like a made from scratch product, you guys. I'm like, oh, super excited. Everything is coming together, together. So they just made me another small batch and they added um, some fragrance in here, but to me, it's still not perfect enough. Um, I don't like the fragrance. So back to the drawing board, we're gonna go try and find some other fragrances to add into the um, cream. And yeah, so this is just a part of, you know what I'm saying? Being in business and getting stuff done. You know, you want to be how you want it to be and you want it to smell how you want it to smell. You want the texture to be how you want it to be, especially when you're the one paying for everything, right? So yeah, so we're waiting. We're gonna try again. <laughs> All right, you guys, so it looks like we finally got it. So this one was a bust. This, these two, this one smelled okay, but this right here, you know, that's the winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner, okay? I love the smell of that. It feels really good on. So yeah, I got my fragrance. So I just gotta test the next two products tomorrow and then we're gonna start filling. I'm super happy, yay! It worked, it worked. I'm so glad I know about fragrances because they were able to find the fragrance that I was wanting to add and they added it and it smells so good now. All right, so it is a new day and I'm here doing my um, third round of testing. I love the smell of the pain cream and the, um, oh, that's the face cream and that's the pain cream and the smell that we have not added to it smells really good. It's like, it's really, it smells like almost essential, like when you like have a diffuser running. It's really relaxing, especially the pain cream. So I'm loving that. So this is going to be the whipped body butter. So I'm trying to figure out a really good scent to add in there, um, just so the hemp is not overpowering. So that's what we're working on now. And then this is the face wash in here. So the consistency is perfect. And the face wash um, will have the same peppermint smell for all you guys who really love the face wash. I've had to run around and, you know what I'm saying, bring face washes to people who ran out. So people are really loving the face wash. So I'm like super excited for this. Yes, yes, yes. Another round of testing. So, so here are the palettes for the shampoo. So it's a lot, a lot of packaging. Here goes some more of the products here. So we're gonna be getting everything shipped out. Oh my gosh, it's been so much work. Here goes another palette. And here goes one more palette here. Go ahead, go ahead and open up the partial. So look at that. Beautiful. There's an infused, full spectrum, moisturizing conditioner. Look at those labels. I love it. On to the next partial box. This is another one of the products I'm opening up. That is beautiful. This is the face wash. Look at the packaging, it's so pretty. 
I really went all out, you guys. Looks even better in person. Okay, because these ones are smaller. Okay. Oh, these are so pretty. Look at that. Oh, these are gorgeous. The face cream. It'll look good on the shelf. Yeah, it's, it really is. It's going to look really good. And we have quite a few companies that want to buy and, yeah. you know, get it on the store shelf. So I'm really excited. Those came out gorgeous. I love it. Okay, and this is the shampoo here. So it's the matching shampoo.